Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Ollie43, and you're watching some GTA 5 PC gameplay today. I'm uploading again in 1080p 60 FPS. So, if you enjoy this video, remember to drop a like on the video and also subscribe for up and coming content, including performance reviews, uh, director reviews, going through the game, showing you all the cool stuff. Lots of content coming. Now, you are very, very lucky right here because <laughs> I get to show you the most beautiful car in wonderful weather in 1080p 60fps. This is my most favorite car in the game and it just looks so gorgeous. I can't get over how good it looks in this game. The cars shine and they just look a little bit more realistic in this game. The interior is a little bit more detailed and it's just like, oh, it looks so good. <laughs> Um, but this whole video is all about how the driving physics feel for GTA 5 on the PC because I was really, really surprised how different they are to the console. And for those of you that don't actually play the PC version, I'd like to explain a little bit about it. But before I do, I just want to walk through this crazy, crazy gameplay clip. I had two near-death experiences in the space of about 12 seconds and I chipped my pants both times. It was ridiculous, so I'm gonna <laughs> let the gameplay uh, pan out. You saw it at the start of the video, but I guess, you know, you know what's happening now, so you can actually see what actually happened. So I was driving along, I was like, ah, I'll undercut this guy. Whoa! And you can see there, I actually moved where my mouse was. I actually turned it to the right, because uh, I wanted to see where I was going, and that genuinely scared me, because <laughs> I was not expecting that guy to cut me up. And I got out of my car and I was like, right, this driver deserves uh, a bit of a telling off. So, I'm going to give you a leaving present. Thank you. Don't do that again. And then, oh shit. No, there's a grenade on the floor. Oh. Oh. oh my god. So, I actually had three. I had the crash, I had the grenade and getting run over. And then I had the car, like, almost hitting me in the face. I had three near-death experiences. But anyway... Let's talk about driving on the PC. So, driving on the PC feels really, really good. And I was actually expecting it to be feel really, really bad because notoriously, GTA 5 on the consoles, the car physics are kind of criticized for feeling a little bit weak and not being that great in compared to other GTA games like GTA 4, for example. Some people prefer GTA 5 car physics. I personally preferred 4. Um, but the car physics for the PC feel really, really different. Um, in comparison to the console versions. I'm not entirely sure if it's because I'm not using a controller. Uh, I haven't used a controller in this game yet because the PC uh, kind of keyboard and mouse setup feels really, really good and I'm actually really enjoying that kind of setup. Uh, but the traction on the road, the way the car, the weight of the car, uh, the distribution in terms of like how easy it is to kick out my back end and things like that. A lot of my cars I own in my garages are rear wheel drive and they're a lot easier to drive now than they were previously and I'm not sure why. Um, but as I said, everything about this game on the PC is better. The graphics are better, uh, the frames are better, the gameplay is smoother, the driving's better and driving was one thing I was worried about and I just wanted to make this video to say like again I'm really freaking enjoying GTA 5 on the PC by the way it's my birthday today so if you haven't already liked the video uh, a little birthday present for Ollie hmm? give the video a little cheeky like um, <laughs> but yeah not only is this game it just like I just wanted to reiterate how good this game is and just mention the performance is really really good Talking about performance, in this section of the road, you can kind of see there's like dust particles or pollen particles near the trees. Um, it wasn't all that clear in the gameplay video, uh, but the frames actually dropped 30 frames per second through that kind of... I think I'm still at 30 frames per second here. Um, so the particle effects really choked my frames. Uh, I was playing at 60 solid, like no, didn't quiver at all. Uh, but as soon as something like that happened, or going through the pollen, it like dropped 30, so... I think, really, this game does need to be optimized a little bit more, but... For the most part, it's honestly brilliant. And also, mentioning driving... I'm, I'm so scattered, I'm really... I <laughs> apologize for that. 
But another thing is shooting and driving in this game is so much nicer than on the console. I, I struggle with two thumbsticks driving in one direction and aiming with the thumbstick on the other. I don't know if I'm the only person that does that, but with the PC, steering left and right is very, very simple, and the mouse to shoot people with is, like, really, really good. So, definitely, definitely love driving in GTA 5 on the PC. And seeing as it's called Grand Theft Auto, I thought it was a pretty important part of the game, so I thought it was worth mentioning. Um, but there we go, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, like I said earlier, be sure to hit a like on the video. And if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, man. Come part of the crew, join the club, Team 43 for the win. And I'll see you guys very, very soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.